So this is just my, my, my argument that uh, Guanxi is both sen sen instrumental and sentimental. So Guanxi can be both diverse and similar. Okay, so I think the Guanxi may have an advantage in developing more diverse social networks because they are instrumental. You have to be useful. Even if we're friends, you're not useful, I'm not going to maintain Guanxi. Okay, Guanxi is not friendship. Guanxi is a friendship plus usefulness. Okay, you got to offer something useful. Uh, of course, they, in their terms, usefulness may, might not be right now. Could be something down the road. So they always have a long-term investment in somebody. For example, if I go back, then I call my elementary school classmate. They will agree to have a lunch dinner with me. They don't know my situation now, but they will say, what if he's now very privileged? Whether he has some kind of a uh, social status. So why don't we meet and find out? You find out I'm okay socially, then they'll say, okay, now we can repeat. We can repeat the dinners and the lunches, and then we can continue, renew our relationship. Okay, so they always have this mindset, but they don't know what exactly what they're going to get from you. They do not have an agenda. Okay, they do not do the cost-benefit analysis, say, okay, I got to maintain a relationship with you, so I know exactly how much I'm going to gain from you. That's not the case. They will say, this is just my investment. In case in the future I might need it, you are available. So it's just like they invest in all the different kind of options. Everybody is an option. Okay, uh, so that's kind of an interesting, unique side.